welcome back to another vlog. We are in New York with Sarah. Of course, she's in literally every vlog. And Jess, meet Jess for the first time. We just got our luggages. And these are my new luggages from Monos, everyone. They're so nice. Make sure you guys use the code if you want luggages. Monos gave me an eraser to clean off all the dirt because the people with luggages are so careless with them, but I did not bring my eraser. Okay guys, we're officially in our Uber to our hotel. Filter. Yeah, sorry, this is very HD. I look like I, every time I'm in front of this camera, I feel like I gained 10 pounds and you can see every pore. But oh anyway. my God, the, this one pimple is bulging <laughs> in its prime. It's okay, we're gonna Religion. go and put on makeup, so much makeup that it covers our sins. Anyway, okay, we are going to the Ludlow Hotel, yeah. courtesy yes. of Sarah here, and also congratulations on hitting 100K on Instagram. We are gonna celebrate. I've actually been on that hotel for a long time too. It's really yeah. pretty. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're gonna show you guys. And what is our plan today, ladies? Um, rest. Yeah. Sleep. I woke up at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's insane. Um, but yeah, sleep a little, sleep, eat, and then um, dinner, ready and then I think Anna day. has, well, Anna's meeting us. Oh, yes. Okay, so we have another Instagrammer meeting up with us. Her name is Anastasia, but we're just calling her Anna because Anastasia is just really long, and yeah, nobody has time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're calling her Anna. Um, which you guys will meet later and yeah, I will leave everyone's Instagram handles at the bottom by the way So you, you do that sound like click. <laughs> oh, yes We will do that. We will do that um, So yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. The oh weather God, is oh yeah. What 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 where? Okay guys, we're here. This is the hotel. We're at the Ludlow All right, let's go To our hotel. Hey guys, I lied. It's not there. It's here. We are going in. Oh my god, look at me with my luggages. Oh, thank you so much. So we are at our hotel. This is what the inside looks like. It's so beautiful. Okay, also the principal from Mean Girls is staying at this hotel and he literally just walked past me and I screamed it to everyone after he left, after he left, but it was him. Anyway, we've been here for five seconds and we're already seeing famous people. New York vibes. And we're all in New York hectic. and we're already hectic. It's already, it's already chaos kitchen. Sorry. I am obsessed with this hotel. We're almost there. You, you literally, you almost got there. And then you kind of question yourself. I'm pretty sure we were like yelling. <laughs> I was like, we're not the We were yelling so loudly in the lobby. Like yeah. people were like staring at us. Yeah. We're at same main. We're at a club right yeah. now. Yeah. I literally <laughs> came in and I yelled. I was like, it's the principal from Mean Girls. And they were like, who? I'm like. We're in our hotel room. Look at how Wait, luxurious this is. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so, oh my god, you guys. We are literally freaking out because I was telling them the story and then Jess and Sarah, we were all just talking about it in the hallway. Just then, he comes in and then he shares the elevator with the three of us. And I'm just like, we were literally <laughs> trying so hard to keep it cool. Then we get off first. Cause we're on the sixth floor, and then yeah. like what floor, Sarah? On nineteen. Seven? She's on the nineteenth floor. Yes. Okay, Sarah's on the nineteenth floor, and we're literally just like screaming after. We're like, ah! oh my god, like I couldn't believe. Like, right? It is him. It is him. A thousand percent. It's him. We saw a famous person. <sighs> it has been well, literally five seconds in New York. So this is the bed situation, and then the outside doesn't look, you know, very scenic, but whatever. Hi guys, we Hi took a mom. nap and look who's here! What's up? Yay. Welcome to New York, bitches! <laughs> Let's look at go! Sarah. Sarah's just like, what is happening? We're living it up, obviously hardcore party vibes with our sweet green and water. <laughs> So hit us up. And we just took like a one to two hour nap. I don't even know how long I slept for. I think it was like an hour. This is why you don't leave early for flights. Even yeah. though I got four hours of sleep. This is me meeting. not feeling. 
says the only person in, in a, a relationship. relationship. Bitch, and, and the only person bringing their person on this trip. She's like, oh my her god. Her boyfriend is she's coming. She's like down bad in He's coming bad. at me. Oh, I look horrible. She's like, oh my god, babe, I forgot the lock code to my suitcase. Yeah. And then I'm like, you're here for five days. Why do you have a large suitcase and a small? Turns out that her boyfriend's stuff is in there. No wonder. Ah! Anyway. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Ready? we're getting ready. And then we don't know what the plan is, but we will bring you along. Bye. Hey guys, we are currently getting ready for the day. We just- The night. The night, sorry, because you know what? We just woke up from our nap. nap so naps. it really felt like the day. It's really funny because this has been the worst I've ever packed in my life. Maybe because I had like a two day turnover between Miami and New York. So I forgot so many things, including a curling iron. So I'm using Jess's wand. It's from the dry bar. It's really good. What makes me super nervous about curling wands is like, I'm always so scared to burn myself. And for some reason, when I use this side, it seems very natural. But then when I use this side, I'm just like, when I hold it, I was saying how it makes me look like Kendall Jenner cutting a cucumber. I'm like, why does this look unnatural? But anyway, now that we have time, Jess and I are gonna tell you guys what went down at the airport today. Wait, I need to go blow dry my hair, so I'll be back. <laughs> okay, all... she will be back. We will tell the story right after she's done. Okay, never mind. We are back with the story. So basically, because a lot of people are very curious about like custom lines and like everything, honestly, as someone who goes to the airport almost twice a month at YYZ, first of all, I think this is a only like YYZ thing, like a Toronto Pearson thing. What I've learned is that for most flights to the States, the baggage cutoff line is usually like 60 minutes, but for every airline, if you look at the website, it'll say for YYZ only, Toronto Pearson, it's 90 minutes. Whereas for every other airport, it is 60, just because that airport, it just gets so busy. So the other thing also is like, if you have a early morning flight, usually that's also the ones that are really fucked up because whenever I catch a flight in the middle of the day or like at night, I find that there's literally no lines. Like to the point that they even close off Nexus because you don't even need to have a Nexus to skip a line at that point. But that being said, we had an early morning flight. So Jess, hey, do you want to talk about your experience? So I woke up at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. and I got to the, wait, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> and I got to the airport at 4.45 and we were flying United and the line for United was actually fucked. It probably, it took me 45 minutes to get to the kiosk to even just like check in and even oh, like yeah. i even checked it online we you tried to check it online but it was fucked like yeah. honestly like it took me 45 minutes just talking to the people at united because sarah booked my flight and she got my name wrong so i had to call them and i checked in early and even like checking in like you still have to wait in line and check your bag and yeah, then, that line was really fucked up so then we went to security and it took us probably an hour to get through security that was fine it was moving pretty fast but it was still like a really long line then it took two hours to go through customs it was like it was horrendous like yeah two hours there were so many people on our flight that missed our flight yeah because the customs line was too long and we had to leave without them. and people were like running for their flight and they yeah. were like calling people like oh if you have this flight, like, you can skip the line in security, but you can't really skip the line through customs because it's like, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. But we got to our gate at like 7.50 and we thought we had time to get Starbucks. But then Lisa calls us and she's like, you guys need to get here now. Like, they're going to leave without yeah. you. Yeah. So then we run to the gate. We get, we get on the plane and then the pilot comes on like the intercom and he's like, we're gonna wait for a few more people to get through customs. We're gonna wait 15 minutes. And then that was annoying because I wasn't able to get my Starbucks. 
<laughs> and then we didn't leave until, until like yeah, way later. 8 20 or whatever, 8 30. So, pretty much my side of the story was that I actually got to the airport at 6 45, like really, really late. And then from 6 45, I got to my gate at 7 12 because I have Nexus. So, I got to do line bypass through security and customs. And customs was the biggest thing because, like, these girls were at the airport hours yeah. before I was. And like Lisa was not even gonna like make her flight and she got to the gate before us. She was able to like do work, like sit <laughs> down, relax, and like no. So this was a very big ad for Nexus, honestly. I got through the gate and then I I was like to the girls, like, I'll just wait for you at the gate and just see what's going on because I know like the door closes usually at the gate like around 15 minutes before departure. So I was like, I'll just see and then tell them to wait for you or something like that or if they're looking for you. So once I got there, there was like nobody in line and nobody even waiting anymore. So then the girl was like, if your friends, she was very mean. <laughs> She's like, if your friends are not here in five minutes, we are leaving without them. And then she's like, you can choose to be on this flight or not, but you need to tell me now or else you're not getting on this flight either. And then she's like, like did you check in your l luggage? If so, let's take it off now. And I was like, what? So I literally text these girls and I'm like, run! I'm like, they're gonna leave without you. Then, because the line at customs was so fucked and we were missing so many passengers, and there were so many empty seats that the pilot was like, okay, actually, we're gonna wait for people. We're gonna, yeah. So we did all of that, and that girl was mean to me for absolutely no reason. And there we go. Anyway, we will catch you at the next event. I think we're gonna try to go to, what's the restaurant that we have the booking for? Lola Taverna, it's a Greek restaurant. Apparently it's like really good, and it's like really pretty, it has like flowers and stuff, like decor. What makes me super nervous about curling wands is like, I'm always so scared to burn myself. And then we're going to head to an event that Anna's friend invited us to. I touched the, oh my god, did everyone oh. catch that? I literally touched. That's happened to me so many times. <gasps> ah! My hand is burning. Oh my god, okay. Anyway, we will catch you then because I am dying. Okay, we all got ready. We're all wearing we're white. Here. All white. We're, We're all wearing so white. Plastic, though. Like I, I know. Can't. We need to update you guys on what's going on. A little walk. Okay, ready? Okay, we are at our first restaurant of the day. It is Lola Taverna. Look at how cute this is. Oh my god, yay. Okay. I'm still holding my coke because I burnt my hand and it is so fucking hot. Okay. This street is so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to New York. Look at the vibes in New York. I love it here. We love it here. Okay, this, ready? this is Jess's go cam. No. I haven't vlogged ever in you my life. Like um, but I'm watching, oh wait, let me, can I adjust this? I'm watching um, Lisa do her pics and oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Yes, queen. Okay, this is the end of Justice Camp. How do you look? Oh, you look at yourself. I'm looking at myself in the camera. Yes. Oh. Okay, we are going to an event. Thank you. All right, we are at this event. Okay, second entrance. Hi guys, it is the end of the night. As you can tell, because Jess just removed her makeup, I'm I like over today. today. Okay. Yes, let's kind of talk about it. Okay, so I feel like it went really fast paced. So what happened oh was when we were about to leave the hotel, Sarah just was not feeling, she was feeling under the weather, I think honestly, because you guys had no sleep and went to the airport so fucking early and she also went out the night before. She probably pulled an all-nighter. So she needed to stay back at the hotel. We all went out, we, we made our dinner reservation at Lola, Lola Tavern. 
Taverna. Taverna. But we just got, I got a drink and then we got like Apples. dips. But like so good. Like I was so good. I'm gonna go people. back there. Yeah. So basically we go to the Greek place and okay, before that, you guys saw on camera, I literally burnt my hand. You saw it in action. And guys, spoiler, like I've been burned before and it never used to like hurt that much because I burn myself in the kitchen all the time. But I think because I set the wand at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and literally grabbed it. I had never experienced such pain before. So the entire night, I was holding on to like, insert clips here. <laughs> so first she left the hotel with a can of Coke. A can of Coke. I don't know where that can of Coke went. I left it at okay, the restaurant. Okay, so she left it at the restaurant. She asked the restaurant like five bajillion times for ice. ice. They, but they didn't give her ice in a Ziploc and I'm pretty sure like the waitress lied because you have Ziplocs in your kitchen. Yeah. Then she got like like a glass of ice and then she like covered that with a napkin from the restaurant and left the restaurant with the napkin. And then literally had to hold on to it for dear life. Yeah. If I parted with away from that napkin for five seconds, I start complaining like a bitch. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and then, so we then when we got to the event, then she asked the people for like a bag of ice. <laughs> then they gave her a latex glove filled oh with God. a bag of ice. We're like, okay, great, this is great. But then she left the bag of ice plus the napkin from <laughs> the restaurant <laughs> at the bar. I see the bartender grab it. He's like, what the fuck is this? And it's like, oh, I guess this is garbage. But they don't carry fucking fabric napkins. Because, <laughs> like, they're a bar. They're like a Ooh. rooftop bar. So then we're like, okay, great. <laughs> well, then traded that off, the latex glove with ice, plus the napkin, with a drink. And ended the night with the drink in your yes. hand. Because the drink was obviously with, I got one with ice, and I just held it for my dear life the entire time. <laughs> so that really helped. The best part about the latex glove was that I kept on dripping. <laughs> and we met new people at the event, and they were like, what? They're like, what the fuck is <laughs> dripping on me? But my first thing was that like, it looks like a condom. <laughs> And okay, Jess was the first aid, what was it? The first aid person of your yeah. camp? Yeah, first aid representative. Yep. MVP. So we went to CVS. I bought like aloe cooling cream plus like just all petroleum. <laughs> CVS sponsor me. Yeah. yeah. CVS. A burn victim. Yeah. That's probably so insensitive to actual. Oh my victims. god. Yeah, I, I didn't even think of that. Oh my god. Yeah, anyway, this, and then we got like an ointment, and then we got these like waterproof like bandages, and then Jess basically just like bandaged me up, and I feel a lot better now. I don't have to be with a cold drink or ice or whatever. Yeah. Okay, the event that we were at, because we were there, and we were actually very confused, but it turns out it was the exclusive launch party of the Hanging Gardens at the Fleur Room. Oh, so it was like an opening. It was like, oh, like the... It was actually the bar's own oh, opening, opening and they were celebrating oh, like all these flowers. That that's were, like, why because I was like, there's, there was just regular people there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like half an influencer event, half like whatever. We actually met some like nice people there. We met some other influencers that are from the States and that was really nice. Um, it was so busy. It was so busy. There was a lot of food and you guys know me. I am the one usually like the minute I see food, I make a beeline. Yeah. Literally nobody else matters. It's like... I just like when I see food, it's like tunnel vision. Like yeah. I like forget about people, like whatever. But then because of my fucking hand, I didn't eat a single thing. This is like a great diet strategy. Like <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Like are you gonna curl your hair? Like oh no 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 no. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? From now on, as you guys know, I have natural waves. Oh, so you're just gonna leave so it. So I'm just gonna like wet my hair and just like put mousse and do my usual thing. The only reason why I used the curling one today was because, as you know, I didn't wash my hair. Oh, I see. That's why. So that's why it wasn't wet enough right. for me to like do my whole routine. So it was like fallen off already. Yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do a touch up. Yeah. With the wand. And also, I would like to say I ordered the new Dyson Airwrap. So the new Dyson Airwrap 
the one wand can curl in both directions that that was like the main reason why people like want the second yeah. one because the first one you have to every direction you do you have to change it so there's like four curling barrels whereas now there's only two because right it's like the now just like about the dyna diameter anyway i got it literally last night but then because i was so busy packing and going to this like swimsuit trial thing that I didn't have time to unpack it and put it in my luggage. So all of this added together equals this. This is what you get. You did warn yourself. You're like, oh, like I usually burn myself. I know. This is the worst it has ever been. Yeah. Usually I burn myself with like one finger, but this was like a whole ass hand. Yeah. Also, as we have mentioned, we <laughs> bumped into Principal Duval twice already. I just bumped into him for the third time alone oh, in the elevator. Okay. Matisse sponsored us. Matisse. Yeah, we bumped it. I bumped into him for the third time. Oh. I bumped into him for the third time, and now I think I'm gonna actually ask him for a picture because before I was like, I'm gonna be respectful and not. You be like, okay, so we um, bumped into you a few times now, and I do want to be disrespectful. But I loved you in, in Mean Girls. In that one movie. I, I think I've I think seen him in other movies. stuff. Yeah. I've seen him in a lot of stuff. Mean but Girls obviously always, the most iconic. But he's like not like the star of any movie. Yeah. But like, he's such an icon. Like, what is Mean Girls without Principal Duval? <laughs> it would be so funny. Like, burn me, Principal Duval. I have a burn book for you. <laughs> I have a burn book. I have a burn it. Does this count? Does this count? No, but or also, you know that I'm sensing a theme moment on this where he like turns the fire alarm on, like makes yes. everyone wet and it has a baseball bat. <laughs> and like he's in that like t shirt or like the tank top, the white tank top. Yeah. And like Tina Fey's like. Hello? Oh, Emma's here, okay. Oh my god, it scared oh, me. I was like, principal troll. Welcome, hello, we're vlogging, hello. All right, anyway, that's pretty oh, much it for it tonight. Unless if something else happens, but we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today's our first official day in New York City, and we are gonna go to brunch. Where are we going? We're going to Jack's wife's freedom. We've literally said this a million times and every time we're still like Or is it I can't remember Jack's wife Jack's wife's Frida. Frida. Yeah. 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 No, I, I kept on thinking it was like I don't know someone else's wife, but whatever. That's where we're going. Um, this is our outfit for the day. We are matching. This is so cute. Oh my god, we should take a picture Wait, like that. This is cute. This okay. is cute. Okay, so our tops are from Garage. These are from Dickies and Steve yeah. Madden. These shoes are Steve Madden and these are special Shop Air Force moves. ones. But um, today we're gonna do brunch. We're probably gonna come home, shoot another outfit and go to Soho. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan today. And then tonight, we don't, we have, don't, have, we don't have like any plans. So I think perfect. it's just I like, love that. Whatever the wind takes us. Yeah. Whatever the New York wind takes us. And look at my burnt hand. I like got these clear bandages for burns and it's actually not bad. Yay, we're ready to go. I don't know how you do it. Like I look up there and I'm like looking. I have to look in. Oh yeah, I have lens. to look in. No, I kind of look at the screen sometimes. All right, taking you guys along. Guys, guess who is feeling so much better today? Thank the queen God. Herself. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> She's not Anyway. Guys. Don't ever overwork your body, okay? When your yes, body says seriously. no, no means no, okay? No means no. Yeah. That goes for sex too, by the way. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Anyway, we are now on our way to brunch, finally, and the other girls are also ready. I am so excited to take on New York. Look, this is just the streets of New York, you guys. Yellow taxi. I just, look at this vibe. Look at this street. Oh my God, I'm in love. Hi, hug. Me. <laughs> Anna is alive. Does anyone have lip gloss? I yeah. do. Guys, we are here. This is where we are going for brunch, and yeah. We are here, we got a table. Where's our table? Nice, so cute. Our food, this is my bowl. This is Jess's. Poached egg, we are missing people. And this is the skirt steak, the Jack. Jack breakfast. We are in Soho shopping inside Frankie's bikini. This is so cute. They're campaigning with Gigi Hadid. 
All right, me and Jess are gonna give you a little behind the scenes today. We're gonna shoot some real content. So I'm gonna come out of the store and Jess is gonna follow me. So let's see how this looks. Okay. guys we just went home to change for a different outfit to shoot so I'm wearing a top from Zara and these pants are from Aritzia and the shoes are Princess Polly what are you wearing who are you wearing oh I'm wearing a pepper mayo set oh really yeah. oh my god that's where it's from it's so cute I yeah love it. and my boots are from Western Barn where's something I don't know it's like a I can't remember I'll have the link okay Okay, we are actually going back to Soho, meeting up with Sarah and Anna because they were meeting up with their other friend. So we let them do their own thing and then now we're on our way. The street is so cute. All right, guys. Wait, put your sunglasses and we'll join in. Guess who joined us? Hold on, ready? Kim Kardashian herself. Oh my God, Kim. Can you please give me an autograph? <laughs> how, how are you and Pete? We're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine. Are you guys having problems? This is how rumors start, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? I actually met someone else. Oh shit. Is he joining you in New York? This yeah, someone else? he's joining tomorrow. Okay, great. Amazing. Oh, he is still. He is, he is. Guys, the traffic in New York is so terrible. It is insane. A little behind the scenes. Okay, guys, also, I just want to say earlier, Jess was like, oh my god, guys, there's a man pooing on the street. So I look and I literally see his poo coming out of his butt in the middle of the street in Soho. Why are we okay. <laughs> because people need to know. I was so shocked, like guys, I, and then, no, the best part is that his hands went down his pants, and I don't know if he was like wiping with his own hand, but then just continued to walk down the street like nothing happened. I, I just, I'm shocked. Okay, hi guys. We are currently extremely hungry after an entire day of work. So we're just gonna grab a snack. We're probably gonna eat two dinners today. But for our dinner, as these ladies are joining us, we're gonna have it right here at a pasta bar. And yeah, this is gonna be just one of two meals today. So for me saying not having alcohol to us getting a bottle, so yay. Just committed I a sin. So a sin. A sin was made. This was touched before the camera ate. I'm just guys, this chicken croquette thingy whatever it is so good. 10 out of 10. This is our first tasting. Good morning everyone. Welcome to another day in New York. We just woke up. Um, we look like bums because we're just grabbing some coffee and then we're going. We are headed to this really cute coffee shop called the Ludlow Supply. No, the Ludlow Coffee Supply. All right, let's go. Okay guys, we finally put our makeup on and my contacts on. We are going to our next hotel. We're staying at the Walker in Tribeca. Bye Ludlow, Bye, this was so fun and pretty. This is our new hotel, you guys. It's so funny, we were in the Uber and I was like, oh my God, like who, oh sorry, thank you. Anyway, back to my story, we drove past this cafe and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. And then it turned out, we're staying here. Yes, let's get off the street. This is us. Yeah. I don't think we're ever gonna hurt you probably. They're judging us. They're yeah. like, how many people are you traveling with? Four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 we're going on another elevator. Yeah, okay. Let's go to on this one. No, we'll okay. We'll we are going to our room. Sarah and Jonathan are gonna be one. Yeah. Room. The three of us Gross. are gonna be in another room. I'm. I'm so excited for my bestie to come. Oh, Jonathan. <laughs> we were originally gonna make him look like a stalker in this vlog. 
like like how like, 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 like and, and not around. introduce him to like, like yeah but but Sarah hard launched so yeah after she hard launched I hard launched right. her she hard, hard launched on her the hard ass talk the hard ass yeah. ah. Okay guys, we are currently just outside of <laughs> our rooms at the walker. Look at this situation right now. We're just waiting for Anna to finish filming hers because we're doing a collaboration with the walker. But basically, Sarah and Jonathan are going to stay in this room and then us three are going to stay in this one. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour. So pretty much from the start, we've got the closets, which I'm not going to open right now. We have a bathroom in here. This is the shower, this is the toilet, and then we've got a sink situation. And then this is the bed, it's a king size bed. And you can see such a classic New York view. And yeah, this is just all really, really cute. All right guys, guess who's in New York? Look at me third wheeling right now. Also, what kind of hand holding is this? Please, as people who have dated for eight years, is this what you do at the eight year mark? They've been together for eight years, so I think the reason why you guys are breaking up is because you're not holding your hands right. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> I never did it in my last relationship and we ended. Coincidence? I think not. All right, we are going to Poke, but we are walking in the hectic Canal Street. They sell all kinds of things, including fake counterfeit stuff. No, counterfeit stuff. That's a redundant sentence. Counterfeit stuff, which I might buy. I'm just kidding. Our poke place is coming up. All right, guys, this is where we are coming in for lunch. Come on in. Okay. I'm so excited. I just want something light and healthy, and this is it. Eating poke. I can't open my bowl, so Jonathan's gonna open it. Yay! Merci. Okay. Thank you. Mine is so heavy. And look at this beauty. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another day in New York City. It is Saturday today and we are just going for lunch. We are in the Canal Street area right here. This is where our hotel is. But anyway, we are on our way to brunch and today we have another matching outfit for you. Wait, this is so cute. <laughs> this is actually so cute. Okay, so anyway, we're going for brunch. This is garage too. It's funny. Both like of these? Yeah. Oh my god. Garage, if you're watching, I'm, po I'm posting. Yeah, we are posting, you guys. But Sarah and Jonathan went to do their own thing, and then Anna also went to do her own thing. So we've just been hanging out, and we also got on live today on TikTok. So that was fun. I'm gonna start doing more lives now. I actually think they're fun. Honestly, uh, you're really good at it, and like, I think it's worth it. Yay! Yeah, it's actually very fun. So please follow on TikTok so you can join the lives. Today's bar for lunch. All right, Jess, let's go. We are doing boozy brunch spontaneously with Chef Black, unlimited alcohol. This is what comes with it. For $55 USD, we've got some guacamole and salsa and some French toast. Hello everybody, so me and Jess finished our boozy brunch and we are now going to Central Park. We changed our outfit. My dress is from Revolve. I will link it in the description. The ladies here are also all dressed up for Central Park. We're going to the fountain and then there's also Jonathan. <laughs> Say hi. Wait, is that our Uber? volume. Stranger Things, you're recording. <laughs> What's up, Lisa Bisa? How you are feeling? We are in the back of this Uber because we're the smallest people. <laughs> Jess Cam. It's Jess Cam. We are still quite drunk from yeah. Boozy Brunch. I also think Boozy I'm allergic to brunch. And I drank all of Jess's shots. Yeah, of his We are going to the fountain at Central Park. Where Chuck and Blair got married. It's iconic. 
Aw, Nick, if you don't know, then you're not allowed to be in this vlog. So we'll do that. I'm just saying. Because I'm Lisa Bisa's manager now. Yay! Hey guys! Yes, fight! Play, play, let me catch it on the vlog. You guys have to get used to walking and taking the subway or you're literally like, like I, yeah, you tell them. Like I'm telling you guys, these girls are such little princesses. I don't wanna love you, it's so hard. Just kidding, that was me earlier. Me earlier was dying in heels. Um, okay, we are at Central Park. I have actually never been in this part of Central Park because this is this part we're in the middle and i've actually never been to the fountain so this is going to be extremely entertaining but anna and i are matching Hi. outfits ish we're just yes, in our orange hello but yeah we're cute <laughs> i miss youtube subscribe to my youtube are you gonna post more often i think i need to okay there you go all right guys we are walking in the middle of central park this park is huge wait look at all this Space to play spike ball, and nobody's playing Major spike ball. In New York. Oh my god, all she cared about was spike ball. <laughs> okay, maybe not here because I feel like this is some respectful ground, but like here, look at this. A lot of air. No one playing spike ball. All right, all right. right. We are at this iconic spot. I might actually, yeah. Jess, yeah. how excited are you? I'm so excited, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, we'll walk down together. Everyone else is buying stuff. Oh my god! Oh my wow! God. Wait, this is my first time coming here too because I've been to New York a handful of times now and never have I ever entered oh this god. area. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Guys, I'm so happy! We're going to go fans! Wait, we see it! We see it! We see it! Oh my god, guys! Guys! Whoa. Wait, wait. Are we in love? <gasps> oh my god! Hi everyone. Okay, so we just got ready for dinner. We are now going to Nobu and me and Sarah are wearing the same dresses all the way over there. It's Jonathan. He's, He's in the middle. Us. Yeah. Reverse. He's our bestie. Yep, so I've been to the one in Las Vegas, not the one in New York, and I'm very excited. We are here. Everyone's First here. dish at Nobu. Let's keep going in the end. Are currently Hi. walking the Brooklyn Bridge in our heels. Yeah, honestly, except for Jonathan. Why are we this dumb? I don't know. Can we buy shoes here? <laughs> Hello? 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 Look, New York handsome. I'm dead. Okay, guys, we literally just spent an hour. Hi. Yeah, an hour. So at the Brooklyn Bridge, but it was so shooting worth it. content. Oh my god, this strap! I oh had my face like Yeah, they do. I hope you guys like our content because we were here for not only like an hour, we walked the Brooklyn Bridge in heels. Look at our heels. Like, anyway, no, like we are the idiots walking. Not even idiots, but you know we're walking yeah, the Brooklyn yeah. Bridge with our heels. Sorry. What are you gonna do about it? All right, everyone, happy Sunday. Everyone has gone back to Toronto, so it's just me and Anna now. Hi. Hi. Um, we are currently dressed to go to a pool party. Yes. Where is the pool party? It is in Queens. Queens. We, we don't know. Yeah. Wait, how far? You said the Uber's already here? Yeah, it's two minutes away.
Wow! <laughs> Say hi, everybody! Hi! Oh my god! Hi guys, welcome to the last full day of us in New York. Hi. We literally have not even been out for 10 minutes and like seriously not. We're like, wait, should we get a tattoo on a tattoo piercing sore? Yeah. We're so quirky and random, wow. <laughs> so she's getting her piercing right now. All right. Just like when he does it, just do you want to hold my hand? Yeah. Show us the earring. <laughs> The third piercing, she got it done. You can literally just see it like shining. Yeah, it looks so good. They were not, oh yeah, they were not, not what? They were not able to fit me for a tattoo, which yeah. really sucks, but we might go to a different location and get it done. We will. Okay, we just had such a successful shopping day. You got the shorts you wanted from Aritzia. Yes, I was I, for so long. I bought a shit ton of stuff from Brandy Melville, and now we are gonna get some juice. From Joe the Juice. I love this one. Hi, cheers. We have our juices. This is the Green Shield. Thank you. So, this actually, this place is really good. I was not expecting it to be the I told you. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Today is our last day in New York. I feel like we didn't really film the rest of our night yesterday, but we actually went to our rooftop. We also got some Chinese food. It was so good. It was Anna's first time trying Xiaolong Bao. It wasn't um, my first time, but I just wanted, I didn't, Oh. I wanted some of the buns. I forget okay. what they were called. And she taught me how to eat them correctly. <laughs> Okay guys, this is so funny, but this morning Anna woke up and she literally saw these like reels or TikToks of people eating at Ding Tai Fung and like seeing these soup dumplings. So she's like, I want to eat that. So basically I like searched up where the closest soup dumpling is that's like decent. So now we are here. So this is Anna's first time on a budget. We're having some fried noodles and some soup dumplings. Yay! How do, how do, you, how do you say it? Oh, Xiaolong Bao. Xiaolong Bao. Yay! But anyway, now we are on our way to our very last brunch together. We are um, going to the butcher's daughter. We're just walking yeah. from our hotel and yeah. I really want to try this one day. This looks really good. But butcher's daughter is coming up in the front. We are at the butcher's daughter. Yay! got our brunch. Want to say hi for my vlog? Hi. We met some new friends. Yay. Hi. Oh, she got and this girl is a soul cycle instructor now. <laughs> Yay. Okay, this looks so good. Look at how cute this street is. Wow. Hi. <laughs> hi, we're in Soho. We just finished brunch at the butcher's daughter. It was so yummy. It she was so said good. that she, well, she has mixed reviews. No, actually, I, I, liked, I, the I food. liked it a lot. I liked the food. The servers were a little like checked out, but whatever. I returned some stuff from Revolve, and it was so interesting because we don't have this in Canada, yeah. but they have something called Happy Returns, and you literally just show up to their available locations, and you don't even need to have a bag or yeah. return label. You just show up, and then they just like put it in a bag for you, and it just is so much easier. That's like a big city thing. They don't have that everywhere. We need to have this in Canada. That's crazy, that's... I didn't even know that existed. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh my god, have a safe flight. Text me when you get to the airport. Bye, love you so much, bye.